Hey guys, Justin again here. Wanted to do a unboxing and review of a product that I picked up this week. Kind of new to me. Uh, uh, I can't lie, I can't say that this is a first unboxing or whatever because I've been using it pretty much this most of this week. But anyways, I'll get into it. It is the Pelican... Um, 2380R LED flashlight. Let's see if I can get that to zoom for you. Made by Pelican. Uh, 305 lumens, up to 25 hour runtime. Some of the features include side beam flood, slide beam flood to spot technology, USB rechargeable, high strobe, high strobe and low and low modes. Full-time battery status indicator. Uh, also operates on two CR123 batteries. And it has a removable clip. So here's the packaging again. Get that in the frame. Sorry for the glare. We'll get this out of here and take a look at it. Like I said, I have been using it all week. Um, not sure how I feel about it. But... It's not the worst flashlight in the world. Let me just make sure that this is in frame here. All right, so first things first, you got the actual light. Um, it's all aluminum construction. It's got nice knurling on it. Um, as far as the fl slide flood program they were talking about, it's this feature. Um, you can widen or tighten your beam by sliding this doodad here which is a little different for me a little weird i guess i uh, never really had one that you could do that with other than like the traditional style the traditional mag light that you can rotate the housing to to adjust the beam but anyways this is uh just a little a little different i guess uh here is the charging port for the usb Pop your cable in there, and then the other end into your laptop or uh, a car charger adapter or whatever. Um, and that just slides over. Got your clip. This takes a lithium-ion battery, but it also includes a little adapter piece. There's your lipo. Uh, it comes with a 3.7 volt, 26 milliamp hours, um, rechargeable lithium battery. I'm not sure if it would tell you who makes it or not, but I'm sure it's Samsung or something. Anyways, uh, just aluminum housing, battery drops in. Here's the little end cap. It's got a rubber seal on it, so I guess it's waterproof to some extent. Uh, does kind of roll. Doesn't. I guess the clip kind of makes it stop. Um, it will stand up straight. This has little foot pads on it here, so if you needed needed to get it to stand up straight, I guess it would. Not like the perfect situation for it, but it does stand up on its own. And like I said, uh, you got, I guess this would be the high mode on the light here. That's the strobe. And then that's the low mode. So I'm guessing that on low mode, you'd probably get the most out of the battery. Uh, like I said, the box claims 25 hours of runtime, which is probably on this mode. But in all honesty, I'll, let me turn the light out here. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not terrible, but uh, that's the bright mode. Much brighter, and then I'll give you a little example of focusing the beam here. Hold on a second. Something happened. Hmm, that's weird. Hmm. 
I can't get it to turn on. Awesome. That's weird. So much for uh so much for a review on this on this beast. Try taking the battery out. Maybe I did something wrong. Hmm. Maybe the battery's dead. Alright, I'll try that again. So this looks like it's the high mode. Two clicks for the strobe. And that's the low mode. And then high mode. And you can focus your beam by sliding this little doodad out. So something's definitely going on there. I don't know if, it, if the battery's running dead or whatever. Like I said, I've been using it all week. But uh, let's check this out. This looks like it's the adapter for the CR-123s. You load two of them in there. This little back piece comes apart, put the, the batteries in there, and then, you know, that's just a holder. That's just a holder for the CR-123s. I know the 123s you can get at, like, a grocery store. They're a little more pre prevalent than they used to be. I know a lot of uh, red dots and high-end optics use them. So, uh, like I said, uh, you can see it, the the LED is on red, so maybe that means the battery's low. Um, overall impressions, I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess I like it. It's not terrible. In the getting, it's not the it's not the best one either. So, I figured I'd give it a try. I think it's like between sixty five and a hundred bucks, depending on where you find it. Um, Again, there's the little charging port. That's the slide feature in and out to widen and tighten the beam. Uh, all aluminum body. You got the little belt clip on there. The only thing I have that compares to this right now, my wife and I both have, um, it's called a Through Knight. I think they're a relatively new company, but it has like five modes. It's a thousand lumens. Um, it is much brighter than this one. It does have a strobe feature as well. However, it is not USB rechargeable. Um, I kind of wanted to try the USB recharge only because uh, I've been I use this at work, so I can throw this like on my computer or on my laptop uh, quickly to charge it and um, not have to worry about finding like AAA's or whatever. So, plus it is a little bit bigger, and I will tell you that I was using, hold on, let me see what, see if I have it out here. Yeah, here it is. So I have been using this guy at work. Uh, it is a Streamlight Stylus Pro. Streamlight Stylus Pro, super small, real thin, it's like a pen. Um, just one function, nothing, no frills, just two triple A's. Uh, now, I do like this. I do like that flashlight. The only negative thing I can say about it is, like a pen, it freaking falls out of my pocket, or I lose it, or I set it somewhere, and I can't find it. I can't tell you how many times I've set this somewhere, and I've lost it. I can't tell you how many times this thing has fallen out of my pocket, gone down my couch cushion, and I haven't found it for weeks, thinking that I like left it somewhere, I lost it, and then all of a sudden I hear something hit the floor, and here it is. But I do like this, it's it's very compact, I think it's a great flashlight. Again, there's nothing uh, super fancy about it. Um, it doesn't have any of the features like this does as far as, you know, beam tight tightening or adjusting. Uh, it does use standard batteries, which again, isn't like a deal breaker, but uh, I, I've been using this for a couple of years and I like it, but I don't like it because it falls out of my pocket constantly. This thing, uh, I, for me, I like it better than the Streamlight because, um, 
it, it stays in my pocket and I like I know it's there so I'm not gonna lose it I guess I could I could say um it has a little bit more mass to it so um you know it stays in my pocket better and it won't slide out of my it won't slide out of my pants pocket and, and roll down into the into the sofa but again it's the pelican 2380r it's a rechargeable led flashlight um pretty deep it, it's okay i mean i'm not i'm not crazy about it but uh i'll try it out and see how it goes it's just a flashlight but uh it's kind of nice to have the feature to be able to recharge it with a usb charger so that's my review of that folks um read the specs on this bad boy here 305 lumens on high you got 30 lumens on low run time on high is 3 hours and 30 minutes run time on low is 25 beam distance 159 on high uh, 50 meters on low uh, peak beam uh, 6317 and 613 waterproof IPX7 and lithium ion powered so I know Pelican's been around for a while they make like pretty badass cases and whatnot so you know I figured I'd give it a shot I do like the convenience of being able to charge it via USB so that's kind of neat but there's some things I like about it and some things I don't really care for, so I'll still use it and see how it works out long term. Maybe if I find something else, I'll give this one to my wife or my father-in-law or my dad or something uh, to use. But that's what I got for you guys today. Take a look at it, see what you think, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll keep some of the reviews coming. Thanks, guys.